high point. For those that don't know what high point means, it means attacking the ball at its highest point. And he got that's, it. He went up and got it. That's what that is. This is an NFL play right here. That's an NFL play. We love that. All right, welcome back, welcome back, Buff Nation, Buff and Prime. We back. It's CT the fan and T Cow the professor over here. We got another breakdown right for you. So yeah, you know people have been asking for this for a while, like a really long time, and going through film. So today, hey, we're gonna we're gonna give y'all what y'all want. We got the Will Shepard break. Will Shepard, another weapon. For sure. transfer, another yeah. weapon. CT. Run through the stats, talk about what he did at his last school, and then we'll go through the film and give y'all more of what to expect this season, what we expect to see from him. And before we get to that, make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, yeah. and comment. Please we appreciate y'all. Man, yeah. we're, we're almost at 5,000 subs. We've been doing this not even three months now. Not even three um, months. Man, we appreciate y'all support. Just make sure y'all can get this out to more people. Y'all yeah. liking it. Um, and yeah, we. We love talking to y'all. Comment below how many yards you expect Will Shepard to get this season. And CT, come on. Let's go. Let's get out there. All right, Will Shepard. Last year, he started 12 games at Vanderbilt with 684 receiving yards and eight touchdowns. Mm. Ranked in the top 15 in the SEC in receiving yards, receiving yards per game, total touchdowns, and yards per reception. He was the eighth receiver in Vanderbilt history to eclipse 2,000 career receiving yards. Tied for third in school history with 21 career receiving touchdowns. Ranked number seven all-time at Vanderbilt with 2,067 career receiving yards. He was third team All-SEC, midseason All-American third team, midseason All-SEC okay. first team. He finished the game with three catches and a season high 170 yards, 70, 107 yards and 85-yard touchdown at Florida. He caught two touchdowns at Wake Forest, Alabama A&M, <laughs> and Hawaii. So, man, uh, he come rolling over to Colorado. He said, I got to get on with Shadur. In the transfer portal, he was a four-star prospect. Number 37 player overall, number seven wide receiver. Yeah, he, He's into Colorado. He got one year to play. So let's make some noise, Mr. Shepard. Yeah, so, man, we, we're going to check him out. Obviously, like you said, he had a, a great career at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Over 2,000 receiving yards, I think 21 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Like, that's no small feat, especially in the SEC, where SEC, SEC has the best back. corners in, yeah. in, in college football. So mm -hmm. you're going against the best week mm -hmm. after week after week. And from what I know, they didn't really have a lot of other threats around him. So, mm. and that's that's some. Let's, I, I got to get this clear. People keep talking about how the receivers at Colorado aren't going to do as good this year because there's so many other threats. It, it's opposite of that. When you have more threats, it makes it easier for you. And right. by just saying this, no, out of the top 15 receivers in college football last year, yards wise, seven of them had a teammate that also had a thousand receiving yards. So out of the top seven out of 15, so half of the top 15 receivers had another teammate with a thousand receiving yards because that opens up the field for you. Right. Which means the ball was also getting spread around and they were also able to get loose. So it helps you when you have more threats around you. So being the number one receiver on a, a terrible football team, and that's, I mean, you can look down here, Tennessee 48-24, South Carolina 47-6, Auburn 31-15, Ole Miss 33-7. Like they were a bad football team. Right. So when you're, when, when you're on a bad football team, you're the only threat. I mean, it's, it's going to be harder to to put up stats. So, I mean, we love the stats mm -hmm. that we've seen from him. We love we're getting an established receiver coming to Colorado that, you know, Shador can build trust with. Right. And, you know, it's something to be excited about. We we broke down the his highlights before we had access to all 22. And you loved it, CT. You, oh, you know, you I, I was like, oh, Shador got a real weapon coming through with uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Shepard. I, you know, I was excited. And I, I go back to what you were saying. Because I think about LSU when they had Jamar Chase and uh, Justin Jefferson. Like, it, like, yeah, when you come with more talent, it makes it so much harder. Helps. USC did it for years. They used to always have one, two receivers. <laughs> I'm out. Bama, at one point in time, had Calvin Ridley, Jerry, Drew, Jerry Judy, uh, Henry Ruggs, even though he got his issues. Mm -hmm. um, Devontae Smith, Devontae the Heisman Smith. winner. 
and who was the other guy there? Uh, Judy Ridley, Devontae Smith, uh, Jalen Waddle was there mm, as right, well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Those were on one team. Like they had when Devontae won the uh, not when he won the Heisman the, the year before he won the Heisman. That's when he had those guys too, Judy and all those guys. Because mm-hmm. I think Judy, Ruggs, and Waddle all went first round. If I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken, like that was a special group, and mm-hmm. you saw their stats were crazy, even though right. they had you know the ball was being spread around. Because you can so do anything it. that's going to work in our benefit. Oh, I sure. agree. In, this, in the players' benefit. I agree with you a thousand percent on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he's born on the SEC where the defensive backs, now you're coming mm-hmm. over here with Shadur, where he's going to have a, a legit quarterback and some um, big 12 DBs. And with some big 12 bombs away. <laughs> Loving it. Um, so, but obviously, for those new to the channel, when we do these film breakdowns, CT hasn't seen it yet. I've already seen it yet. Mm. I've already seen it. Not seen it yet. But I've already seen the film breakdown. So he's going to be live reacting. And then I'm breaking everything down so you can see, you know, what I saw. And mm. I'll tell you guys, before we get into the film, one, make sure, again, y'all subscribe, like, share, comment on the channel. Please y'all, do. Make those live premieres. <laughs> when y'all watch our breakdowns, y'all going to love the content. Right. Mm. So make sure that y'all subscribe to this so you can get more of it. Turn that notification bell on. But so Will Shepard, like I told you, when I have a choice, and I didn't really even have a choice with this, I'm going to do it against the top team. I'm going to do mm-hmm. Alabama. I'm going to do Georgia, uh, Florida, Tennessee. Like I'm a, I want to see you play against dogs. Right. 2023 film this past year did not impress me. Mm-hmm. I, when I went through the 2023 20, film, it was it wasn't impressive, mm-hmm. and because he's uh, had. 2,000 receiving yards, 21 touchdowns. I was like, okay, let me go and look at the year before. Let me look at 22 mm-hmm. because he's done this for a while at a high level. 22 looked completely different. 22 was the guy I saw on the highlight tape and where he's doing the things we needed to see. Now, why was there a change in film? I'm not even talking stats, but film from 22 to 23, I'm not sure. But we're going to watch this together. We're going to break it down. Um, you're going to have your take so we can hear what you see. And then y'all in the comments, let me know, you know, what you guys see and how you guys feel. But, so are we starting with 2023 or are we starting in 2022? 22. We're starting. Okay. With <clears throat> so we're going to hit the 22 games and then we'll hit the 23. So you'll be able to see. Let, let me see ask you Do you mm-hmm. know if it's the same quarterback those two years? 2022 to 2023? Mm. Do you have the same quarterback? Let me see. I'm just I mean, we'll be able to see watching the right. jersey. Yeah, it might be, but yeah, we'll have to see. But it's not the quarterback as much as the route running, the suddenness, the separation. Mm-hmm. That's the difference that I saw. Oh, okay, I see what between you're saying. the two okay. years. So we'll check it out. So we got him starting off versus Bam right here at the top of the screen, and let's see see what happens. So that's him. Is okay. So this ball is not coming this way. But what I want to see, I'm watching his film like I watched him when I was in college when mm-hmm. at any level. Mm-hmm. I'm watching as if I'm covering you. I want to see what your releases look like. I want to see what you like. I want to see things like that. So as I'm here and I'm watching his release, this is – I'm not sure if this cornerback is trying to play outside leverage or not or he's supposed to be inside leverage. Mm-hmm. But – Regardless of what he is, he ain't never supposed to look like that. Right. That, like that <laughs> is not supposed to happen. <laughs> so I really like this right here when I'm able to see this separation off the line of scrimmage. That's what I want to see from my receiver because he's open right there. Whether that was his leverage or not, he ended up getting open. Those are little things that I look at and I want to see at a receiver. I want to see what you do against press coverage. Now, this surprised me because he's 6'3. I saw mm-hmm. him playing in the slot way more than I expected. I expect mm. him to be solely outside, but I saw him playing in the slot, which is definitely a good thing to be able to add to, you know, our arsenal. So he's right there. So I'm not sure if he didn't expect the ball. And it's hard to see where the drop happened. I try to watch from the other angle as well. Like I can't, from this angle, I can't see if the ball hit like a lot in front of him or what, as far as him not being able to catch it. But 
what I liked is watching this, watch the suddenness you see in, off the line of scrimmage right here. I like that. That part is good. What happened at the end, I'm not completely sure of, but like I said, I'm watching this as if I'm covering him and I'm doing my film study on him. So right here at the line of scrimmage. So he's taking an outside release. He's going to run a fade route. This DB is in great position right here. Great position. I mean, that's textbook. Absolute textbook. That's what you want. So let's see how the rest of the play plays out. Great catch by Will. Great catch. <clears throat> and he, that's Terry on Arnold. He might be the first DB off the board this year in the draft. So he's legit. This ain't no slouch. He's legit. So what happens right here, this is called a back shoulder fade. For those that don't know what a fade route is, it's basically, it's very similar to a go route or a streak, meaning you're running down the field straight and then you're gonna fade outside to try to fade away from the defender. So you want the defender to be inside of you and you'd be able to fade away from them and catch the ball on your outside shoulder. So <clears throat> right here, DB's in perfect, perfect position. Quarterback's already getting ready to throw the ball. That tells me this isn't a true fade route because a true fade route, you're not, there's no way you throwing a fade against this look. Now, the back shoulder fade, which is one of the hardest throws to guard, is, I mean, it's self explanatory. It's on the back shoulder. So normally a fade is going to be thrown to his right shoulder right here, and the ball would want to be placed uh, over here, two to three yards outside the numbers. A back shoulder fade, you want the defensive back to get on top of you like this so then you can spin off and receive the most time they push off i'm gonna lie to you and then be able to get the ball like that now this play i remember when this became popular at least to me and that was in 2008 <laughs> michael crabtree oh crabtree <laughs> yeah uh, texas tech texas back tech, shoulder yeah. fades with uh graham harrell as a quarterback <clears throat> so watch this playing on top of the fade uh back shoulder make the catch the run after the catch love it really really good play by him <clears throat> here we go we got him here again yeah so right here he was throwing a fade <clears throat> and this is the same corner so let's see his release so he comes here patient love this as a corner patient gets two hands on takes the left hand off this is textbook <clears throat> Now, he's not as high on him as he was the last play, but in, he's playing for the back shoulder. You can see it. He's not right, right. on top of him. <clears throat> this is a bad ball. That ball lands here. Now, he's throwing a fade right here, which you do want Shepard to be able to get off of him and start to separate. But in this position, you know what? <clears throat> if Will Shepard's elite, and that's your elite guy, you're going to throw these 50-50 balls. If I see one-on-one -on -one coverage and it's my guy versus your guy, my guy 6'3", you're going to try these 50-50 balls. Mm -hmm. So I can't fault the quarterback for that. Now, he threw this early. Shepard's still getting jammed up right here. Right. And the ball's and, already gone. And, yeah, and it's already gone. Like, he didn't give him no... <clears throat> yeah, but on Will's side, quarterback's expecting him to beat this. Mm -hmm. He does not beat this press. At no point is Will in control of this route. And from a bigger receiver, I want to see you more violent with your hands and press coverage to get off of a defensive back. Because, right, I mean, he, he's strapped up right there. So, yeah, Will got to get better at getting off the press. Again, that's that's probably going to be the top corner taken in this draft. So, he's legit. He ain't no slouch. Yeah, you're right. They like to do that thing. <laughs> they like that Another back shoulder fade. They, they yeah. like it a lot. They like that a lot. <clears throat> and I don't think Will has elite speed. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not a guy that's going to um, <clears throat> take the top off of the defense. Like, we got guys that can do that, but I don't think Will's that guy. And that's fine. There's a lot of receivers that can't take the top off and make these type of catches consistently. Now, this DB isn't in as good a position. He's going to be a first-rounder as well. Kool-Aid McKinstry, I believe that's him, number one. So here, kind of open the gate on him. Will's in better position for a regular fade right now. Right. But again, his back shoulder, 
Will goes up, high points it, makes the catch. That's <clears throat> that's what I want to see. I want to see you make these contested balls. Mm -hmm. You're not the fastest receiver. Cool. <clears throat> you know who was a absolute dog in the NFL? Who was slow? Um, Anquan Bolden. <laughs> was not fast really by any means, but figured out a way to catch the ball, to make mm -hmm. those contested catches. Larry Fitzgerald, um, I mean, he was faster earlier on, but later on in his career, he was successful. What that. about uh, Dwayne Bowe? He wasn't successful for long in the league, but mm -hmm. I think Dwayne Bow could run. I, oh, okay, I, could run. I think he had a fast 40. Oh, okay. He came out of LSU. But yeah, this this is beautiful. That they're pitching and catching against mm -hmm. the first time cornerback. This is beautiful. And again, I want to see him beat press better. It's hard for me to call this press when you don't put your hands on. Right. Like we saw him do the last play and get his hands on and really control the route. But he has the feet, makes him open the gate. I think he could have beat him back shoulder or just a regular fade right there. So that's a really good rep. Got him again. He's over here with Terry on Arnold. Let's see what he got right here. <laughs> that's the play. Hey, he's, hey, he's making a good play. Yeah, they they were back shoulder. Hell of the thing with that is, as a DB, I'm going to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to change how I play against that. Um because I'm going to play low hips so you don't just continue to get that throw. And I'm showing majority of the routes he ran this game. There weren't really many really just straight fade routes. Mm -hmm. And what I like right here, again, can you you can say this is press, but we don't get hands on. And I love this release here. I like his it's footwork. His speed turn. Yeah, I like, I like his footwork. I, I think that footwork off the line, man. Boom. Love how it made him speed turn. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting getting ahead of myself here, but more receivers need to do this type of release, especially right like this on slants. So if he does this, gets him here, and makes him speed turn like that, but then puts his foot right back in the ground, oh, he's cooked. Once he speed turns, his head's over there. Mm -hmm. Nobody is – it's just him and the safety. And obviously he can't change this route into a slant, but I'm just saying as a receiver – Football's a game of tendencies. Once right. I see a few of your releases, most receivers, I can tell from your release what route you're running. So it's good for receivers to be able to give the same look on a release and run a completely different route. It messes mm. up. Teams, but got him turned around early, gets the separation needed. A fade's not going to be caught right here. He's too top shoulder. He has a cut off. But a back shoulder, hey, move the chains. Move the chains, getting them first down. That's what I see, Mr. Consistent. Yeah. Hell of a play. And we got him down here. Um, Bama is in cover two man right here. Cover two man means this safety has this zone. This safety has this zone. Has this zone right here. He's man coverage. Everybody else is in man coverage. But what they're going to play here is called uh, trail technique. When you play trail technique, you want the receiver to get by you. And mm -hmm. then you're going to be on his low hip, meaning back here. And then you're going to try to take away any underneath routes because you know you have a safety that's going to take over any deep routes so let's watch how this plays out so they threw back shoulder again they ended up throwing a flag for pass interference on this because the db didn't turn his head around but this is he reached right here he shouldn't have reached but right here is the position you want to be in a cover two man because mm -hmm. if he tries to throw a fade down the field it's going into the safety. If he tries to throw it lower, it's going right into you. And I'm sure Bama started calling this because they're like, hey, they just keep throwing back shoulder to him. So mm -hmm. we need to figure out a way to get our guys in a position where they don't have to worry about getting ran past and they can focus on the back shoulder. So here, I got him running a slant right here in the slot. He gets covered. He just gets stopped up right there. And what I'd like to see him do is not give up on the slant mm -hmm. right here, try to get around him something. Um, but he just got – I mean, they, they ran the right coverage for it. He's inside leverage. He's already turned to him. He's waiting for him to come here. All right, we got him outside again right here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's beat there. And, again, they're not putting hands on, which you want to see your DBs do. And he right. reaches right there, so he's really good. That's, that's a bad reach. So right here, 
he gives him a little uh, shake to the outside mm-hmm. at the top, and it comes back in, and he's in the position that the ball's right here. Man, he got room to run. He got a lot of room to run. Oh, yeah. He's, he's upset yeah. about that. Yeah, he was gone. I got him right here down below. <laughs> got to make that catch. That's a tough catch, but you got to make that catch. And what I like here, I like the suddenness off the line from him here. Watch right here. Now, he's not, not the fastest. Another guy who is not the fastest at all, Keenan Allen. But boy, does he does create he oh, yeah. insane separation. Yeah. Uh, his younger cousin is actually a transfer, Terrell Timmons. We just don't have film from him from North Carolina State. But yeah, watch this play. Here, again, they're playing. This might be cover one. Yeah, this is cover one. So that could be cover two, man. So he's playing over the top. Ball has to come back here. This corner should stay lower hip, but he mm-hmm. gets caught on top. And I mean that the ball placement's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We'll just got to come down with that one. And those are the catches I want to see you make consistently. That's the difference between being good or great and elite. It's right. making those, especially against these cool. Oh, he, yeah, that's a clean drop. You're right. Ball placement was perfect. Turned him around. He threw him open. Mm. That was perfect ball placement. Really, really like that. Here he is here at the bottom of the screen. So he tried to, what he's doing right here, so you guys understand, is all this is doing is trying to get this DB to open his hips. Mm. And we've showed in other plays, we're going to see what's the mark corners. Once you open your hips and open the gate, it, it, you end up being cooked. What you want to do, just like I talk about with the offensive lineman, you want to stay as square for as long as possible because that allows you to break back down just like that. Mm-hmm. So anytime you see a receiver moving and doing all this stuff, it's because they're trying to get that corner to declare and open up one way so he can go underneath them. So I'm good with the release and everything. He just doesn't beat them. You're not going to beat them every play. Right. That's good play on defense, um, good release. Just he, he was on it. Got him at the top of the screen. Another back shoulder, and it gets broken up. And again, these are the ones. If he makes that other back shoulder we saw, plus this one, you know, he, he's being talked about a lot more. Like, hey, this guy's killing Bama. They cannot mm-hmm. stop him. Now, what I will say is the back shoulder becomes less effective if there's no threat of you running past me. If I don't think you can run past me, then I'm able to play in trail technique, even if I don't have a safety over the top, because I know I can catch up. Right. So, and not even saying that Will can't run past them, they weren't running routes that even had him running a goal route. So the mm. cornerback could think, hey, well, I remember he ran a goal before, so I got to be, you know, conscious of that. No, that wasn't even something that was showing up. Okay, then we got him right here. So let's go back here. He's at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it runs a dig and gets gets locked up there. And on this route, what I'd want to see mm-hmm. is DB's already opened up. He's taken away inside leverage. He's not worried about anything else that he's taken away. But I'd like to see him give a step out at an angle as if he was running a fade to try to make this corner try to get to the top of him so then he could cut underneath. Oh, like cornerback, he's not in the best position right here. He ends up getting to better position. But if he could make him try to commit to get on top and then come under, mm-hmm. then he could have got more separation on that. Now, I must say, uh, oh, we're going to Georgia now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, is that because – Man, Vanderbilt office looked like uh, I was like, was that because yeah. going against Alabama? I mean, like, what's Pretty going on? Now we got Georgia, so we about to see. So this is another one. It's a slant and drops it on the hit. Big receiver. I I got to see you get these contested catches. I need you to come down with this. Mm-hmm. That's a big play for us. Mm-hmm. We got to have those. All right, bottom of the screen. Got them right here. Love this. Ball doesn't come his way, but he's wide open. Yeah, footwork. 
Not feel like it's awesome. hands on. So right here, like I said, I wanted to see him do at the top of that dig route. Mm -hmm. Just so you guys know, a dig route is anywhere from 10 to 18 yards and in, just like that. So right here, he he's opening the corner. See, the corner is completely square right now. Then when he does that step out here, he gets him. Look at his feet. He's mm -hmm. crossing over. Got him. Once you get crossover, over, over with. Comes underneath. He, and I want to see that right there. Yeah, yeah. That, that could be a first down. All right. So we got him back here. Let's see what he has right here. Okay, so they oh, throw this fade. Right. Mm. It gets broken up, I believe. It's either broken. It was hard to see. It's either broken up or it was a drop by Will. But it's hard to tell. This is a bad thrown ball. If it's thrown more downfield, Will's taking this for 90 because this corner, and yeah, if I remember correctly from the other angle, I saw that he didn't tip it mm -hmm. and he jumped too early. And if Will catches that, obviously he's not getting caught. Yeah, he's gone. But let's go back and watch, watch the earlier parts of this. So he's coming up field. All right, so I love what he did right here. It's subtle. It's really subtle. So as a receiver, when you have a cornerback, this cornerback's playing what's called press bail. Mm -hmm. So he's lined up in press, but as soon as the play starts, he's going to be in bail like that. He's going to be in crossover run. Mm -hmm. Now, what Will's trying to do is he's trying to get to his blind spot because when receivers get in a cornerback's blind spot, a lot of them panic. And it'll get them to turn the other way. And then while they're doing that, you can run right past them. So I really like what I'm seeing from Will right here. So he's coming vertical. Look, he came inside right here. And then he's going outside of him to get mm. his blind spot. Now the corner played it perfectly, trusted his technique. He jumped too early, though. And Will has to come down with that. And then he comes down with that. Man, it's a 90-yard touchdown. Hmm. And th those are the plays that I want to see him come down with. Right, right here, this slant, I need you to come down with this. I need, love everything at the line. Come here. Good work. Cross the mold. Love it. But we got to come down with that. We have to. If I'm coaching the corner, get your hands on him. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to get your hands on him, get out of press. Just, just get out of press. I feel where it's going. Yeah, really like that release. And I, they actually call pass interference on that corner on that play. All right. This, when I saw this play, I said, okay, this this is the highlight tape play. This is, mm -hmm. this is what we're looking for. I'm going to show it from the other angle. This is the one. You show me this in this year's film, 2023 film, like, hey. Mm -hmm. right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, he went up and that, got it too, right? He was the high point, didn't he? This is what I expect. And we'll go back to the wide view so you can see it now that you saw what happened there. This is what I expect at a 6 3 receiver who has 21 touchdowns in the SEC. This right here. He's not really open. If I have an elite receiver who's a dog and who's 6 3, He's always open. I want him to get a chance for those 50-50 balls. Yeah. And that's what they gave him right here. I This is the best play I've seen of all his film. He has longer touchdowns, all touchdowns. Mm -hmm. This is the best play I've seen. High point in the ball, coming down with the ball against a very elite. This is not this past year's Georgia defense. This is the year before Georgia defense, the mm -hmm. legendary Georgia defense. This is what I got to see. High point. For those that don't know what high point means, it means attacking the ball at its highest point. And he got that, it. He went up and got it. That's what that is. This is an NFL play right here. That's an NFL play. Ooh-wee. Love that. Got him here at the bottom of the screen. Makes a catch. Breaks oh, the oh, oh, oh. All right, Mr. Shepard, you heating up. <laughs> that's what I want to see. Again, this is the crazy this is Georgia defense. Yeah, this yeah. is this is mm. hey, I love it. All right, we got him down here at the bottom. 
makes the catch. See, this, this is what I want to see more of right here. This isn't a pretty release. This isn't a pretty get off. This is this is the point of having a big receiver. I got to see you fight through this. I want to see you be violent. So here, they call it a diamond release. I don't pay attention to names or release as much. Um, I'll tell you what, Calvin Ridley runs the nastiest one of these ever. And that's from somebody who done ran one-on-ones with him. The nastiest. And they make it look like it's a fade release to start mm -hmm. and then come underneath you. So watch his feet. So he takes it like he's going to take an outside release. And then he's he's in bad position right yeah, here. Yeah, he's cooked. His foot in the air. He, he, he's in bad <laughs> position. Holding him. I don't care about you getting held. You are a 6'3 receiver. You're mm -hmm. going to get held. You're going to get P.I. Let me see you fight through it. Mm. That's what I want. That's one of the more impressive plays I saw in this room. That's probably top three for me. Wow. Even though for most, oh, it's just a slant. Nah, it's more than that to me. Mm -hmm. Now, he didn't come down with this. This annoyed me. So we got him here playing cover two man, just like Bam was doing. They run the same defense Bam does. All right. Jesus, I'm sorry. This play, this route should never work against cover two man ever. What they're doing is called a hitch and go. Mm -hmm. Should have probably drawn it. For those that don't know, a hitch is basically can be a different amount of yards, but you can come up and you're going to stop and catch the ball right there. You call a stop route, a hitch, a uh, hook, whatever you want. So he's going to come up and stop right here. That's a hitch. Mm -hmm. What a hitch and go does is it's counting on the cornerbacks to be overly aggressive and try to break underneath that hitch. So when you fake the hitch, the hitch and go is you turn into a go route. So you keep going and the DB is behind you. Then you have to fit it into this super tight window because you have the safety here. Not something I recommend against cover two man at all, but hey, go for it. So they run it right here. Stutter and go, whatever you want to call it. It gets mm. broken up. Yeah, they didn't have a chance. The, bro, because you, you're, you're throwing you're throwing a fade when you got a safety over the top and you got him in perfect uh, leverage back here. And he's trying to get back shoulder to it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, cover two man beats. It's made to stop back shoulders. It's mm -hmm. not made specifically for that, but it fits it perfectly because your cornerback is in the back pocket. So it gets broken up. All right, cool. We'll see it from this angle. Right here. So, yeah, cornerback's in perfect position. Oh, yeah. Looks like it hits Will's hands, though. Cornerback gets a hand up, but it looks like it still hits Will's hands. Yeah, hard to tell there, but, again, you're not going to come up with all of those, but, hey, I want to see it. Same, the same series. Mm -hmm. Another hitch and go. To the other cover two man say like why i just don't understand wait wait wait. so it's play calling play calling over here huh like yeah i, I just don't understand this well, i got the safety right here like even if he does bite i have a super tight window to try to fit that ball and that's his number one read on this i just mm. i don't understand that i'm no offensive coordinator but uh, i could be a defensive coordinator and if i'm a defensive coordinator I love your decision to run. Please run hitch and goes in the red zone against cover two, man. Love it. Please. <laughs> All right. So believe we got him up here to already point him out. I believe he's up here. I like that. Again, winning at the line of scrimmage. That's what I want to see. That he's mm. beat. Mm -hmm. He's beat. I want to see you consistently be able to win against press. And I saw that in his 2022 film. Here he is there. Bam. This doesn't look like much here, but you'll be able to see it from the type. He gets separation on this. Mm -hmm. So has press. Cool. I'm going to fight against you. Remember I showed on the LeJante film. Right. He's, Will is leaning on him right now. Leaning on him, using his weight against him, and then breaks off of him right there. And he's open right here, and he has room to run. And I'll be able to show you from the other angle. So he's going to be on this side of the field. He's running a dig route. And motion, changing the defense. So right here, so Will's leaning. You can see yeah, the lean. I can see it. And then breaks off. 
Yeah. Right here. Got it. That's when he needs the ball. Yeah. And he could possibly break that tackle and give him the run. All right. This is 2023 film now. So this is this past season. Here he is in the slot. Like I said, he played a lot more slot than I expected. Mm -hmm. 60 receiver ends up being the outside receiver. So he runs this slant here, catches the ball. Uh, I'll let you see the rest. I, I don't really like the way this was run. Mm. He rounded this break. Mm -hmm. and, what, and what I mean by that is you saw some of the breaks in the other film where they were sharp, right. you know, hard angles. Because right here, he's, he's coming here. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what rounding it means. It looks mm -hmm. like it's curved. Mm -hmm. Where a sharp break right here is going to create more separation and not allow this DB to get in as good a position as he does here. Now, he still makes the catch, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm paying attention to little things. I want to see this a sharp and explosive break. It didn't look like he exploded out of the break either. Right. He's like, he just ran the curve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there's no explosion there. So, yeah, he gets the catch, gets a first down, but I didn't like the way that route was run. Here he is at the top of the screen, playing outside. Great catch over the shoulder. Yeah, wow. He dropped that right in there. Great catch over the shoulder. So let's watch this again. Now, again, I don't, for some receivers, like if this is Travis Hunter, you might want to hold on to the ball for an extra half a second because he's going he gonna to fly past these guys. But you got to know your receiver. I'm not sure if they were ever thinking about this being a back shoulder fade or what, but Will doesn't get much separation after he runs, gets past him. Right here, Will's in great position. I don't care that he doesn't, you know, gets run past him. I want to see you make the tough catch right over the shoulder. That's a beautiful catch. That is a beautiful, beautiful catch. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Really Call like your first down, and, brother. And Shador's going to put the ball right there. Mm. Here we go. Great separation right here. Mm -hmm. Like I showed you on DJ McKinney video. Mm -hmm. Cornerbacks, I want to see you squeezing right here. Take the air out of this. There's too much air in between you two. Over this, this is a tough catch. Great ball. Tough catch. That's a tough catch, man. Right over the shoulder. I, I love the way he locates it. Soft hands. But hey, I'm not done. You see a lot of receivers, they catch this and come right out of bounds. Nah, he, that's at the 45, gets an extra eight yards. Really like that play. Here he is right here at the bottom of the screen. Beyond, I hate this route. I hated it. And I saw one of his teammates run it the same way. So this is, I call it a pivot route, where you're faking like you're running an out route. And then you're breaking back in. But there's no explosion in this route at all. Right. Watch, watch how it's ran. Like there, there's no explosion. Like you see, remember Lejante ran the same route, um, except his was going inside and then out, pivot against Illinois, where he made the dude literally touch earth, like fall the complete other way. Yeah, but, yeah, how explosive he was. Like I'm watching this route. If I'm this corner and you see the corner is just unfazed, you're not selling me on an out route right here. At no point do I think you're running an out. And if you are, the there's no explosiveness to it, so I'm not even respecting it. Like, go ahead and run that. Quarterback throws it, I'm going to be able to get there to break it up. And then from there, he's not explosive out of there. Either. Right. So I'll show a full time, full speed. But, yeah, like I said, in 23 film, the, the route running, it didn't look the same as I saw in the 2022. Yeah, I don't like that route. Now I've got him here at the top of the screen. See what we got. Slant gets thrown to him. He's going against press coverage. Has trouble getting off of it. Here he is right here. Hey, I told you, a good cornerback, they're going to stay square. That's all he's doing is staying square on him. Then he gets him. Will pushes him out here. Will's trying to push him off. He's grabbing on him. People can say that's holding P.I. Hey, this is football. You got to, at the end of the day, you got to play. I want to see you make a play. Gets up. 
can't get to the slant. That's the win by the corner. Here he is right here, bottom of the screen. Now, it's hard to tell if this is supposed to be back shoulder or not. But the like I talked about before, the thing that makes back shoulders so hard is when you make it look like you're a fade, when I'm worried about you running past me. He's in great position. Will's not doing anything, and it looks like, yeah, so this is probably a back shoulder. He's looking back for the ball quick. Mm -hmm. So it's probably meant to be a back shoulder. But you're looking back for the ball that quick. I'm already on top of you. I know you're not getting it thrown down here. So mm -hmm. I can play this a lot tighter and be able to make a play. Will gets one hand on it, and it looks like the DB may have swatted his hand or swatted the ball. But it's, I don't know. This and it, It's totally different from that highlight reel video. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, like I'm this. Like, man. <laughs> and again, you could say this is play call, et cetera. I just want to see it ran better. I want to believe you're running a fade or a go route and then be surprised when you back shoulder. Here, he knew he was back shoulder the entire time. He was on it. All right, now we got him this past year against Georgia. Here he is out here. Kills the corner. Again, you call this press, but you're not getting hands on. Ain't no that's point in you being up here, you're not going to get hands on. Ooh, that's, and awesome. that's what happens. <laughs> got to get hands on. <laughs> Give me those ankles. He's gone. Opens him up. He's cooked. He's gone. Absolutely cooked. This is what I really like from Will. And I saw this in a few games. He gets it thrown to him here. But um, even when he doesn't get it thrown, he understands the scramble drill. And what understanding the scramble drill is, is when your quarterback is trying to get loose because they're getting pressure, is you don't just sit right here. You say, hey, let me try to find the open spot so I can give him somewhere to throw. If this is Shador, Shador can put this ball up here. This quarterback ain't capable of doing that. Shador would have been able to throw it just like this and get the ball up here. <laughs> quarterback sees it late and then tries to get to it. But I, I really like his understanding of the game, understanding that a hey, scramble drill. I got to find a way to get open. It looks like he almost came down with the catch too, which would have been right. a nice play. Here he is at the top of the screen up here. That's a, that's a drop. And on this, he struggled to get off press. Plays it perfect. Stand square. Get hands on. And Will tries to throw him by. Cool. You got to make that catch. Now, was the ball thrown perfect? No. He yeah. had to stretch out for it. You got to make that catch. Yeah, hey, you got to make that catch. Here's the first down marker right here. Mm -hmm. I need you. Got to make that, that catch. Right. Here he is down here at the bottom of the screen. So this is dangerous for a receiver, like very dangerous. And I've seen a lot coach to never do this. He does a swim move. What a swim move is, is when you go over the top like this. What's dangerous about this is you expose all of this to the cornerback. I didn't put, like Travis said, I didn't put people into a, a Gatorade bath on the sideline for doing that. Because as soon as you get right there, oh, I'm grabbing, I'm taking you all the way to the sideline. So that's a little dangerous right here. So he watched him playing press. He gets there. If the ball's thrown right now, he has a chance to make the play. But this corner, he's in the position he wants to be. He's in great position. And a lot of people don't understand that. People, anytime they see someone with a half a step, they're like, oh, he's beat. Mm -hmm. This corner is exactly where he wants to be. Yeah, it, it looks like it too. Like, it, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, he's exactly that corner right. is just a pretty good position. Yeah, it looks just so. Like you got to be careful with that swim move, but he did get past the press. And see, this is what I wanted to see more of. Not this play, but if you're going to throw back shoulder, you got to give him more go routes and fade routes so they can be able to see both. So right here, doesn't really beat press here. Again, he's staying square. This is where he wants to be. That's exactly where he wants to be on the route. And then the safety comes over, this ball hung in the air forever. Good Lord. Yeah, I'm like, uh, everybody could have came over to band and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> that ball was there. Will, Will was playing. Um, he ended up having to play DB on this. He ended up having to play DB on this. 
And yeah, look where the ball is. Goes right to the safety. It looks like Will actually broke it up. Oh, what I want to see from that play, I wanted to see Will get um, beat the press better. Outside of that, the, the quarterback did that. That was a terrible decision. That was cool yeah. Play. All right, we got him versus Florida last year. Top of the screen. All right, gets a slant, gets upfield. Check the route out some. Love that. He, he sticks that two hands out. Again. He, he, <laughs> got him. Love this right here. Gets the catch. Gets some extra yards. Fighting downfield. That should have been a five-yard catch. He turned into 20-plus. Love it. We'll be able to see it from this angle as well. Love it. That's what I'm going to see for my 6'3 receiver. Dom in the slot here. Ball gets thrown to him, gets broken up. What I want to see from him here is if you know you're running this route where it's a hitch where it looks like he kind of was able to pivot out a bit, I want you to attack this DB's leverage. So this DB, as you see, Will's completely outside the hashes. This DB is right on top of it. He's inside leverage. So he's there to take away any inside routes. And this might have even been a zone match. I don't know. This probably man. This looks like man. So what I want to see from Will is you see he's still outside the hashes. I want to see you work on top of the hash to inside the hash to attack his leverage. And this is me speaking from a, a, a corner in a right. nickel, a safety. If I have to guard this and I'm sitting here like this and you're running straight, I'm not moving. You, you didn't make me move. You didn't make me think. And then right here, way too many steps on that break. And that's allowing him. Watch watch this uh, DB match his feet. Just matched it perfectly. Oh, yep. He's just mirroring it. So this is a good play by the DB. But what I'm saying I want to see is I want to see him attack his leverage inside more to win a – DB has inside leverage and Will moves inside and starts to stack them. Mm -hmm. What the DB has to do is stem. He has to maintain that same inside leverage. So for a receiver, if a receiver says, hey, this is my spot I got to get to right here. You got to move this DB as far from that spot as possible. So the more Will comes inside, the more this DB is going to have to come inside mm -hmm. to maintain right. that same leverage on them. And then that gives you more space to separate. But right here, he didn't move him off his leverage at all. He stayed there, able to make the play. And, you know, these are just little things, but it ends up showing up. Now here, very similar situation on the same DB. Watch what Will does. And creates a ton of separation. Right. So let's, let's go back here. Remember, last time he was outside the hash. And he, him on the hash, exact same alignment. Now you see Will on the hash. What's the DB doing? Coming inside. Coming inside. And what right. he did even more at the top is he gave him right here this inside fake, which yep. froze him. Feet wide inside fake. Now I got separation. That is it's night and day between the last route. And little mm -hmm. things like that are what make the differences. Really like that. Much better play. Great play, highlight reel. Now, what I will, what I got to point out, I got to be honest here. Will got away with a face mask at the line of scrimmage, and this cornerback quit on it. So let's watch this. So Will grabs his face mask and pulls it down right there. Oh, that's clean. <laughs> and now the hey. corner is complaining about his face oh. mask. Will continue to make the catch. He's still complaining. Yeah. Will's down. The but he, he got away with one for sure. But what I like most on this play is this. That's, bro, that's a hard <laughs> catch. This is a hard catch, period. Let wow. alone to regain your balance. Like, right. This is a balance that's catch. That's what I was going to say. Look at that. And he regained his balance. He had a sense of awareness. <laughs> and I think three thought he was going out of bounds. Right. So he's oh, already stopping. Right. right. He's already stopping. And then. I told oh, you, that's wait. how I know if you're loafing, is when he uh -huh. changed speed. <laughs> he, he's slowing, oh, and then he's trying to catch up. Now, it's over with. It's gone. You ain't catching him now. He's going to the house. Yeah, no, he's not getting caught. 
Ah, that great, was nice. Great catch, great finish. Really loved what he did right there. All right, got him at the top of the screen again. Hey, three got his get back right here. He got his get back. Sure, let's go back on this. Let's see. Here we go. All right, this is the same dude. So watch right here. He stands square, gets two hands on. Same thing we saw the Tennessee game. Will's trying to push him off, but he's grabbing some. It's a part of the game. You got to fight through it. He keeps his leverage. The cornerback makes the breakup. I want to see him win more of those. Here is in the slot right here. He comes back to the middle of the field, scramble drill, and misses the catch. We'll go back on this. I think he got a little jumpy. So here he goes out. TZ scrambling, comes back in. Tough catch, but got to make it. We'll be able to see it from the other angle. But I like his mindset as far as scrambling. He knows, hey, I got to get to open quarterback. By the right. way, I did see number five playing quarterback at some point in the clips you were just watching, and now I see number eight. So may have so been a quarterback change. Right. So right here, Will's coming open in the middle. And as he's coming open, I, I need you to make that catch. Need you to make that one right there. So that will play. All right, so top of the screen, runs the corner out. Don't know why the ball was – thrown there definitely shouldn't have been thrown but let's take a look at this so they're playing cover two right here this corner has this flat he is a hook player hook player flat he's playing deep half of the field and up here he's also playing deep half of the field so let's watch how this works out so right here remember we saw the pick on uh travis had versus ucla where it looked right. like this, Travis came off, made the play. Now, mm -hmm. the thing that I critique about Will right here is, as the safety, this is not a fun position to be in in cover two. Because mm -hmm. I have to stop you all the way back here, but you're coming up on me, and it's, it's tough for me to get to a corner route or a post. And what Will does right here is he makes it easy – for the safety to know that it's a corner route. And what I mean by that is yeah, that I, see what you're vertical, I want you to at least stem a little bit more inside, give a jab inside to freeze him and then allow you to open up for that. This is kind of like the route we saw earlier where he rounded it. You know, oh, right, no right. Yeah. Guard. Now, would that have still been a tough one to throw it? Absolutely. But I just want to see it sharper. I want to see you make him think. Here's a play right here. So right here, I think Will's open for a touchdown. And I think, I know that's the ball should work. Wide open, right there, wide open. open for a touchdown on the drag route. So right there, open for a touchdown. Now, I showed you, God, this is such a bad route. This is one of the worst routes I've seen. I showed you Will's where he did this pivot route. Watch this one. Tell me if this mm -hmm. looks explosive to you. <laughs> Like, bro, I'm not <laughs> I, 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 the cornerback. The cornerback's looking at the quarterback. That's the only reason why he gets kind of beat. But mm -hmm. this, that's the, <laughs> no type of explosion. Like, he, that's a turn signal route. He said, okay, hold on. Let me put on my left turn signal to let you know I'm coming out of Like, bro, when you come out of that, it got to be explosive. You got to create separation. Right. That's a bad route. But yeah, I just had to point that out. But yeah, Will Will's open right there for a touchdown. I think this is our last clip of him. So he's running this deep over route. Definitely open on this. Now I'm not a receivers coach, so I mm -hmm. don't know exactly what they're looking for at the top right here. Mm -hmm. But I would have liked to see this be a sharper break instead of more oh. rounded. Right. Like you're gonna be able to see it here. It's just rounded. And when you round, it makes it easier for a defensive back to get to you versus something sharper and more mm -hmm. explosive. So, yeah, that's what I saw from that. But, yeah, that oh, – we'll see it from this angle to see how open he was. He was open on this. 
right here. He's open. Mm -hmm. He's open with room to run. Obviously, the quarterback check down. But yeah, so that's Will Shepard's film. And like I said, I like the 2022 film a lot better than what I saw from 2023. So I'll make a lot more plays. But outside of the plays, it's the routes. The, mm -hmm. the way he was running, the suddenness, the aggressiveness versus press. And even in 22, he, he missed a lot of contested catches that we, we got to have from our big receiver, I, I need you to have those. What do you think the change is? I mean, the change was, I mean, like, you know. Honestly, I I don't know. And mm. I don't know if he had like an injury that was nagging him or what, mm. but it just wasn't the same that I was seeing from his 2022 film where you saw the cuts were sharp, look explosive, mm -hmm. um, still stuff to improve on, obviously, but it right. looked a lot better to me than what I saw in the 23 film. And I'd have felt a lot better had those been reversed. <laughs> the well, me two film looked like we needed to get more explosion and right. sharper breaks and stuff like that. And in the twenty three film, we saw, it, hey, okay, it's starting to come together more. I'm seeing more contested catches and stuff like that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that because I feel like you're coming to Colorado, so that, mm -hmm. you know, I like the fact that I seen that you can do it. Now I don't know yeah. what happened last year. But I feel like mm -hmm. you get over here with Shadur, you're a different type of quarterback. You get over here, they got we got more weapons. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're not SEC defense every week. <laughs> you, you, you yeah. Big, well, like I think things like that matter. My question to you is: Is he starting or is he not going to start? So man, that that that's the tough thing. And before I even get into that, um, the thing like you said about him coming to Colorado is he. It looked like he was just top dog at Vandy. Mm -hmm. Here, he's gonna have to compete. There, there there's other receivers. There. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a young boy that went for 200 and some some touchdowns against USC. Mr. There's, Miller. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like you're gonna have to compete. Right. So I'm I'm hoping that the competition level, he's not there right now in the spring, but when he gets there, the competition level, and I'm sure he's grinding every day right now, but I'm mm -hmm. hoping that helps him to elevate those things to want to work hard at those things and continue to get better. Because I don't know, man, it's tough. 2022 film, yeah, I, I, I really like what he brings to the table. Mm -hmm. I didn't see really anybody. Like, that catch for Georgia was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, that was like, high that's what you want to see. Right. Mm -hmm. So he has it. Like, he has it yeah. in there. So it's Yeah, like, and we've been able to see it. So that's... Right. That's, that's what I said. I, that's good. a huge difference. Like, like, he has it, and we was able to see it, and we were able to see it mm -hmm. against the best, you know. Yeah, Alabama, like it matter. You know, what I'm saying that matters. I don't know. You know, maybe quarterback play confidence. You know, I don't know. But coming to Colorado, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're Thanks upgrade. Playing. And that offense, mm -hmm. Vanderbilt, <laughs> like it was running like yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was very vanilla. And right, yeah. And like I said, when I saw the 23 film, I was disappointed mm -hmm. because we had seen his highlight tape, we had seen the things, and I'll pull up some of the game logs. So. Yeah, because I was super is, pumped out that his highlight tape came out. I was like, oh, yeah. man, we got a dog. Mm -hmm. And this is the other thing that had concerned me. I started going. I was like, okay, let me look up his stats. Let me see what this looked like. You see Florida, he went for 107, but 85 of that was at one play. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he went for 107, but it wasn't a lot of plays to get him there, like, Obviously, he, he made the play, he made the play. But if you mm -hmm. take that play away, then he only has, what is that, 22 yards mm -hmm. receiving on two catches. So I would have wanted to see more on that. Because it looked like after he made that catch in the slant, like it started, number three started strapping up. Um, so then we got Missouri. Missouri, oh. five for 98. Oh, man. It looks and, like after he gets out of the SEC, he starts picking up. Yeah, and that's what I was worried about. Yeah. When when I watched the 23, mm -hmm. and then that's what made me want to go to the film mm -hmm. is why like his six touchdowns, he had six touchdowns to start the season. And mm -hmm. then you see it fell off. He only had two after that the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. But why he went for six catches, two touchdowns, AM, six catches, two touchdowns, Wake Forest, eight catches, two touchdowns. And then you see a significant drop uh, going so, from there. Yeah. Uh, South Carolina, one for six. Yeah. Mississippi, four for 17. Either Georgia, eight. 24. Either SEC say we know who the best player you guys got and we locking them mm -hmm. out, locking them down, or but it it's 
that's concerning. This right here is concerning, bro. Because like you can mm -hmm. see the change when the when the opponent level change, the stats change. But I mean, and and and, 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 and that that worried me. Like you said, it could be because I couldn't watch all the games, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it could be they're focusing more in on them in the mm -hmm. SEC games. Because uh, here, Hawaii, two touchdowns. Elon, Elon's maybe FCS level, two mm -hmm. touchdowns. Wake Forest, a touchdown. Northern Illinois, two touchdowns. So he starts off the season with, what is that, seven touchdowns through four weeks. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. And then he only gets two touchdowns the rest of the season. And you see the stats change. And I like the way he played this Bama game. He could have probably had over 100 yards, mm -hmm. but missing some of those contested catches. Right. Got a good game against Ole Miss, a touchdown of 87 yards. Mm -hmm. Georgia, 45 yards. Mizzou, 28. South Carolina, 6 for 95. Kentucky, 5 for 88. Then Florida, 2 for 20. And then Tennessee, 6 for 48. So, yeah, I mean, that's it's not what I want to see. Yeah, but it's there for him. Because now when I think about it, like, it's just not him when the competition changed. The whole team, the competition mm -hmm. changed. So, you know, you, yeah. <laughs> defensive line is different now. The defensive backs is different. So everybody feels that change. So it could have just. Yeah, and there, there's other things that go into it. Your, mm -hmm. your play call is different when you're right more in a game. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you feel more comfortable to do more things. So um, I'm not blaming it solely on him, but seeing the 23 film and then going through his game logs and seeing how the stats changed. It was concerning. It was yeah. definitely concerning. So yeah. Yeah. You know, I gotta I, I gotta see more. I gotta see more this season from him. Mm -hmm. Can I pencil him in as a starter? Right now I'm putting Travis, you if Travis Hunter is starting in at receiver, I, I can't pencil him in right, right now. Lashante, got I got him with a sharpie. You can tattoo. <laughs> we, and, Travis, Lashante, and then who? Yeah. Uh, Travis, Lashante, and then probably probably Omari right now. Mm -hmm. I, what I saw in that USC game from Omari was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, it was one game, but I saw all of the tools. Mm -hmm. And now you see he's the most talked about player for Colorado this spring. Like he is. Well, next to Lashante. <laughs> I think yeah. it's a hype, bro. It's it's right. But the other than Lejante, yeah, it's right. definitely mm -hmm. Amari. Huh? Mm -hmm. And you see, he's starting to he's getting more confident. Mm -hmm. He's now a full year into college football. He understands how college works and stuff like that. And there's similar there's similar body types too. Let me see what Amari Miller is. What do you feel about? Um, I mean. It, I'm looking at these stats, you know, I'm gonna watch the you know, six to one ninety five. So they're about the same. So they're about the uh, same. Mm -hmm. mm. So I, I well, think he's well, he's definitely coming in fighting for a position. Like he's, you, you're yeah, fighting and, for. And and it's not just him. We got other receivers too. Like mm -hmm. I, I think we'll have a surprise starter at receiver this season. Really? From the whole off season, it was always said Travis, Lejante, Will Shepard. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's in 11 personnel, one running back, one tight end, three receivers. But if we, for some reason, end up doing a lot of 10 personnel where we'll have four receivers, I think there's going to be one or two surprises in there, man. Like, mm -hmm. I, I would not be shocked to see somebody we did not expect start to arise because things change in college football. Like, people talk about the transfers a lot, mm -hmm. but players, last year's Colorado players, man, there's a lot of growth. Right, right, guys, right. Mm -hmm. They really start to emerge and it clicks for them. You're like, right. hey, they get it. Um, so we definitely need to be on the lookout for that. Like I said, not, when I was at Nevada, if you look at my Nevada stats, they wasn't impressive at, at all. Mm -hmm. like, it would have been like, hey, I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> then I then I get to AM and m and you see me get 12 tackles versus Auburn and lead the SWAC in solo tackles, led the country in solo tackles, had mm -hmm. 75 tackles. Because when I got there, one, I was under better coaching, but things started to click. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of those guys, things just start to click. And then right. the Draylon Millers that might come in and just start to click. And right now, Omarion's building a lot of chemistry with Shador. You know, I think Will has to take more classes or finish, graduate, whatever, mm -hmm. for him to come. But uh, those little reps in that chemistry, you yeah, know, they matter. He's coming in behind. Yeah, he's going to be behind the ball. Because, right, because... 
Right. Marion's already there during spring training. Uh, I mean, yeah, spring practice and everything. I just think from what I just saw on the film, it's way different from the highlight. And then, but when mm-hmm. I look at this game log, yeah, I'm like, hey, it's hard yeah. for me. If you say CT the fan, is Will Shepard going to start? I'm CT the fan going to tell you. Yeah, he might not show up first. <laughs> I don't nah, know, man. They got nah, he'll definitely they got be some there. serious talent coming in. Bro. It's talented, like, man. It's, it's like it's, it's, and it's that's a deep the, room. It's a deep room, and then uh, and that's the position. Like you're like, man, it had all if you was like any other position, I'd be like, all right, we don't will, but them wide receivers, man, that room yeah. is stacked. You and, know, and let me actually clarify that, on this stacked. as well, because when as far as the game logs Mm -hmm. i don't care about the stats so 2023 Mm -hmm. we watch georgia we watch tennessee and alabama we we let off with alabama didn't we that was oh right 2022 so we watch florida georgia and tennessee these stat lines don't mean anything to me Mm -hmm. the reason these are concerning is because the film matched with these stat lines. Mm, like, that's what you're saying. Like you saw Wester, the job had LeJonte, Yeah, had, had LeJonte had zero yards against Clemson, but then I see the film where he's killing them yeah. and absolutely oh, wide God. open. Yes. Then I'm like, cool. Like, I don't care about the stat lines. I'm seeing what I need yeah, to see. Yeah, shout out but, to LeJonte's ex-quarterback. We appreciate yeah, you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. God. So that was different. Right. But when I see these games and then I go to watch it on film and I'm not seeing you constantly open, mm-hmm. I'm not seeing you constantly get separation. I'm not seeing you make the contested catches. That's when I'm like, all right, you know, we got to, we, something's got to give. We gotta <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you what's got to give. He ain't going to be starting. I just, bro, look, I'm sitting in this film playing in the back of my head. I'm looking at these stats and I'm just like, oh man. Uh, yeah. I, I it's, can't. It's, it's that wide it's receiver room, Mr. Shepard. It's that wide receiver room. Like, and, and he'll play, obviously. He's going to play. Like, yeah. receivers are going to play. Mm-hmm. But starting, and I'll say this too, there's going to be different starters at points mm-hmm. in the year. Right, right. So that would definitely happen. Mm-hmm. But I did not see enough from 23 film to say that he's automatically starting over Mario Miller. Not a chance that I saw enough for that. Mm-hmm. The that, that Georgia game in 22, I really liked that. That, that catch she made and not even look at the stats he had that game um let's see what they were george not not an elite game but we saw a lot of times where he's beating the corner off the line right slants and things like that where he could have been open that's the other thing didn't see them run a lot of routes like most of the routes he ran i think i might saw a couple corners maybe like yeah a couple corners some back shoulder fades and slants and then a few hitches. Like, that was it. I wasn't seeing him, other than that one, doing many pivot routes, many drag routes, which you usually like with those big receivers, post routes. I don't think I saw him run a single post route. Bro, I so, think I'm about, I'm about the crown camera. Look, the 2022 and the 2023, look at the games. Mm-hmm. Look how he starts. And then when mm-hmm. he hit the SEC, what do you notice? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Like, you could put both yeah. of them side by side, and you'd be like, Wow, okay. So yeah. to- <clears throat> it's a tell of two tapes. But I mean, we do see Kentucky, he balled, South Carolina, he balled, uh, Ole Miss, he balled, Alabama, even though it says three for fifty two, that was a good game he had. Mm-hmm. He, there were drop catches, but he made some contested catches and he was open a good amount. But look where one, the touchdown what does the touchdown stop? Oh, yeah, 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 the touchdowns. And the, the thing I will say about the touchdowns, too, is I think Will's best closer to the red zone. Mm, okay. And you got to get to the red zone to be able to use the we'll receiver see. as effective in the red zone. So when you're losing 55 to 3, you, you're not getting in the red zone. Mm. You know, 55 0. So 56 0. You're not getting as many opportunities because mm-hmm. your offense is moving, isn't moving the ball. Now, I still want to see more yards for sure. Right, but touchdowns when you're on a bad team, unless they're all like Florida, where he had an 80 yarder, you're going to be limited 
especially for a receiver that's not an elite speed receiver. So, because I'm looking at the floor, like he's got two receptions, but how many times he had the ball thrown to him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder, yeah. like, is it drops over mm-hmm. here or are they just it, not exactly. throwing it to you? And, like, and that, we don't that. have all of the 22 film, but that's what I brought up when we go back to this uh, 23 game log is I did have this film in Tennessee. He wasn't open much. Mm-hmm. Florida, he had the 85 yarder and that slant, but outside of that, it, there wasn't much. Georgia, he wasn't open that much. Like, yeah, he had some plays where he's open, but it wasn't, he wasn't popping off film to mm-hmm. where if I wasn't watching for him, I wouldn't have been like, hey, I want to see more of him. Oh, and there's a lot of guys that do that for me. Like, where I'm not, I've pointed it out in other people's hot, uh, films that we're watching. Um, I remember Nikhil Webb Walker we watching one of his plays, and I saw a safety make just pop off him, make mm-hmm. a play. Like you can <laughs> see certain people. Pop yeah, like off. that linebacker uh, from Penn State. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, the DN that was right. Mm-hmm. Everyone's confident in saying that he's supposed to be um, the next Michael Parsons, mm-hmm. and I, I saw it yeah. within a few plays. That's all it took. I said, "Hey, this guy's a player. I don't know who he is. He's a player." So well, that's why I wanted to see more. I agree with you, and I and you're right. The film means more to me than the stats because when you mm-hmm. watch Jalen Wesley, if you put his stats up, you might be like, ah. But when you oh, see yeah, the absolutely. film, you can be like, this dude is like, oh, it's like, are you you kidding Popped me? Off film. Right. It's just like, who I was watching. Yeah. I could have been watching the full game film for LeJounte and then seeing this linebacker and be like, who the hell is he? Right. And that That's what I wanted to see more um, from the uh, receiver who's supposed to be an elite talent from us from the sec i wanted to see more of that so yeah the the jury's out for us um we're we're, we're still waiting to hear back a verdict on yeah on, on will shepherd in these regards obviously we want him to dominate want i do that. and i think uh, you know coming in colorado you know you got you know playing alongside with john tay travis you know that that's going to take a lot like you know that's going to take a mm-hmm. lot of pressure off Right, Absolutely. and then you got to you go you you getting Shador as a quarterback, like somebody mm-hmm. that could put the ball. Hey, you want it? Yeah, I'll give it. And then yeah. that matters because if you got a quarterback like Shador, like I throw it to you. I don't. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Because if you got a quarterback, be like I don't know, don't trust in you. You know, you yeah. that's not really your fault. But if you get a quarterback, be like all right, you about that life. Let's see. You know, you that dog. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> and just like I pointed out, it like how we did that Georgia catch. If mm-hmm. he's doing that consistently in the fall. Right. He's gonna get opportunities that other receivers want to get. As far right. as hey, this is my big receiver. I, mm-hmm. Even though for most receivers he's covered, he's open to me. Right. I'm gonna get it. You saw Shadur do that with Travis Hunter a lot. Mm-hmm. Even when Travis Hunter looked covered, he said, "Hey, I know he's gonna come down with this ball." Right. So that's what Will's gonna need to do um, in order to really gain the trust of Shadur and be that guy. So yeah, don't no, don't nobody get this wrong. We want Will Shepard to go crazy. I do. Like, I, I would I, love for him to go crazy. I, I, but you should be going nuts. <laughs> You're playing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm a 3,000 right yard receiver. <laughs> what are we talking yeah. about? <laughs> love that. Right? But right yeah. now, we're just breaking down the film unbiasedly um, from what we've seen to the different things. So, hey, make sure y'all subscribe, share, like, share, like comment, comment on this channel. Mr. Shepard. appreciate y'all. I need Man, you to get to Colorado like, in, now. In this live chat. And we got more videos coming up. So, yeah, hit that notification bell, and we'll be seeing y'all soon. Buffing Prime. (laughs) I'll let y'all.